How we live is based on the multitude of decisions we make every day. These decisions turn into habits. These habits come to define who we are. As Jim Croce wrote in his 1973 song, One Last Set of Footsteps, albeit with poor grammar, quote, After all, it's what we've done that makes us what we are. End quote. <clears throat> Replace that latter what with who, and I feel so much better. Abundant evidence indicates we have very little free will. I know not a single ethicist who believes we ought to admit it. Quite to the contrary, I would like to believe our actions are the products of something beyond our genes and our collective individual history. In other words, our virtual lack of free will is not a get-out-of-jail-free card. Let us all act as if we have the ability to choose every step. Then let us choose the steps that will define our character in a positive manner. Let us purposely not choose the get out of jail free card. Let us choose the best possible version of ourselves that we can imagine. Indeed, let us choose the best possible version of ourselves that our mothers, fathers, and siblings can imagine. Even if we don't particularly care for the judgment passed by our mothers, fathers, and siblings. Right action is wholly dependent on the circumstances. There are few uniformly correct actions independent of these circumstances. As a result, differentiating right from wrong depends upon the specific conditions. These conditions change every moment, thus making it difficult to identify right action, much less pursue right action for every single case. And yet, you know, you know the correct choice because it's just. It's also the most difficult alternative you face. It's humane to the point of being torturous to you. It shows you to be the decent person you are. Of course, it'll cost you. Justice isn't free, you know. Not for you. Not for me. Not for society. Decisions have consequences. Let us choose our own decisions with those consequences in mind.